and you notice that most of these end users what they're doing is paying them right up front and when they pay them up front what's actually happening is is they tell them it's usually a nine to twelve week lead time well if it's nine to twelve week lead time to get your machine all of those payments you've made with your credit card debit card whatever it may be that time frame to dispute anything is diminishing so not only is there no returns as stated in last week's video but then they can blacklist you off the forms and now you have definitive proof this is true the other thing you're about to see is that you will have definitive proof with their own equipment that USB is unstable and yes it's with their own equipment EMI what is EMI EMI is electromagnetic interference and that's often caused by a high current wire like the power cord for this uh, Makita rotor traveling near lower power wires like the stepper motors have here and it is magnetic interference that's created in this wire okay guys once again we are being misled uh, what he's explaining is incorrect EMI is energy and basically it's energy that drives itself as electrical noise when that electrical noise penetrates cables um, and again, you can see the explosion here direct from Lincoln Electric a discussing EMI with a plasma system, which is regardless, CNC Robotics is the same. Um, it all works the same. The big thing to keep in mind is understanding what you're working with and understanding what sources you're getting your information from. <clears throat> you can see here, noise and EMI, also known as radio frequency interference or RFI, is present in various amounts in all circuits. EMI has other effects such as interfering with radio reception. A lot of guys don't even know that. Once again, you can see some factors that increase EMI here, factors that decrease EMI. I'm once again trying to mitigate going through all of these details. Of course, the document will be there for you to review. This way we save time with the video. That can wreak havoc with signals um, to your stepper motors. Now, I've never had a problem with this, but um, other people have, so I wanted to avoid any um, problems in the future. So Okay, once again, you can see he's explaining, he's going by the past problems of others, and he's trying to mitigate a problem before it becomes one. Guys, let me tell you what, if it exists, it exists. First and foremost, him holding up his motor cable, like he just did, where it's going to the Z-axis, that's not a cable, guys. Once again, that is a bunch of leads going through nylon braid for a PC, and they're not shielded. That's why he has problems, along with the fact that he's using a Makita wood router from a box store, which once again, and I've said this in previous videos, is not designed for robotics use due to the fact it does not use a double shielded cable. 